So yeah, yeah there, there's a Winnie the Pooh horror movie called Winnie the Pooh Blood and Honey, where it reimagines Winnie the Pooh as a serial killer. I saw the images for that. That shit's kind of freaky. Yeah, a little bit. It's two minutes of my life I'm never getting back reading about that. I I just want to see what they do with Eeyore. Because remember, his tail's pinned to it. Mm -hmm. Horror movie setting, there's a whole lot of adjustments you can make to that. All right. Hi, everybody. It's Big Papa Grump. Welcome to the Poor Doom Podcast, uh, Loria and Junior. And um, so I had to unfollow Ringside News. Yeah, I heard. Uh, I actually was reading those tweets, kind, not really in real time, but before, before it made the news, I saw those tweets and was like, what is going on? on when did this start yeah i don't i didn't look into too much of it but i just know that they just got like blacklisted <laughs> well i i don't know what happened but the impression that i got was that the the guy who kind of runs ringside news yeah. uh, has a a a history of transphobic comments towards right. nyla rose and um like tripled down on them this week and there were there were tweets coming from ringside's like official twitter account and then basically similar tweets coming from his so it almost seems like he got a hold of the twitter account and just went insane right and uh yeah yeah certainly I mean, if if you want to if you want to take the heat off of the uh, Sasha and Naomi situation, that's one way to do it. So so yeah, so I just unfollowed them. They 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 got um, I think they they had a deal with. I forget who their parent company was. Uh, um, I yeah, it was like AOL, Time Warner, one of those. You know, whoever it was. Um, it, like, I don't think it was. Huh. It was like something weird, like A and E or whatever, or yeah, the same but, guy but, that has A and E. Yeah, but they uh they canceled their partnership. And what's funny is if you look at Ringside News's like tweet history, absolutely nothing has changed. I mean, they're they're back to what they normally do. They haven't acknowledged the 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 separation of the partnership. None of that stuff. When was this? This was earlier this week. It was like Monday, Tuesday. Oh, yeah. It was Monday it went down. So I think um Russell Talk tweeted about it. Uh they they actually they covered it. They had a a bonus news episode yesterday uh that covered it. So Randy yeah, Andy that's a, it's a big source, so that's kinda Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean they're they're a little clickbaity, but I mean no more than Russell Talk is. But they, I, I find that they have way less substance when they, you know, with some of their articles where it's yeah. just like, hey, and Alexa Bliss in a bikini, you know, they pop up every <laughs> once in a while in between, like, you know, Tony Khan is going crazy on Twitter again, you know. Uh, Tony Khan's a nut. Yeah. So, um, but yeah. So, what today is, is uh, the, uh, Preview and predictions for Double or Nothing, and um, I, I I sent out the the picks and said that everybody can hold off until now. We're we're recording this Thursday. Uh, everybody can hold off on actually submitting their picks until later on because uh, Rampage airs on I think at like six thirty or it's early again. So. Um, so you wait until after Rampage before you can send in your, your, your picks. I'll edit later. And, um, nope, I've already gotten, like, four people's picks. I uh, I didn't watch AEW, so I forgot to do picks. Yeah. Uh, one of the um, – well, that's fine. You, you got a uh, – you, you got time. Mm. 
But um, just to cover AEW real quick, uh, the the promo between Hangman and Punk was pretty well done. I enjoyed that. The promo with uh, Thunder Rosa was not. Her part of the promo was fine. It's just that, oh, this is our build. Two weeks of this, and we've had, you know, two long promos, uh, like one from each, and then a blind attack on Dustin Rhodes. A blind side attack. So that that there there's your women's championship uh, build. Um, the Britt Baker uh, Tony Storm match is pretty good. You know, I enjoyed it. Actually, like the show as a whole was enjoyable, but I would have liked to. I, I thought that the uh, like I would have liked to have seen more for your your main your major women's championship. So. So I figure we'll go through match by match and just kind oh, of do you, our, our picks, sort of, or at least talk about them. Did you, did you see what was going – what happened with Money in the Bank? Oh, what now? Uh, just that WWE moved Money in the Bank to M MGM Grand Garden Arena. Current ticket holders will get refunded, so they're not doing it at Allegiant Stadium anymore. They're going smaller. Must – I don't think yeah, – they probably they couldn't sell out. Yeah. yeah. So. And Vince didn't want to buy the rest of them. Yeah, and give them away at the radio stations. Yeah. But yeah, you know, no, I, I did. But I was, before we go like deep diving into this, it's like that's another kind of newsy thing that happened like literally a couple hours ago. Yeah, I, I missed it. Um, they, uh, yeah, it's, it, it, it is kind of sad that, that they could, that they were having trouble. Well, see, I don't know why they were going to Allegiant Stadium with money in the bank, I, anyways. I don't, maybe they were trying to be like, well, it does well. I mean, it does, but, you right. know, I, I would have, I would have gone like WrestleMania and SummerSlam. Those are the two. Right. You know, and what if Saudi, you know, but that, that, that's kind of a different continuity, anyways. So, but, uh, but I'll just we'll just go through real quick, and then you know I'm sure there's other stuff to get to because like here's the thing is that what's what's gonna what's really gonna stink is that uh, because the uh, wife of doom is uh, going to be surgically incapacitated over the weekend. Um, I'm not, uh, and uh, Corey said he he probably what because it's Memorial Day weekend he's probably not going to be available to host. And I'm not paying for a pay per view, so I'll be following it on Twitter. You know, oh, we get it. Well, then if you do that, well then come over, we'll watch it. You know, you can get it here. I'll okay. download Bleacher. I could. Yeah. Yeah, it's not, yeah. We'll think about it. Um, because I, I want to watch it. Yeah, yeah. I like watching them. Yeah, so um, and I, they're more tolerable because they're only like every like four months or three. Yeah, months. yeah, but then it's gonna be like a nine-hour show. Yeah, and I like, like there, that. There's though. eleven like, matches. This is like WrestleMania level. It's, yeah, I was gonna say it's weird because I do prefer the like four to five-hour pay-per-views spread out. Like if WWE only did the big four, I know they don't really have a big four much anymore. But right. if they only did the big four and each big four was like five hours, I'd be completely fine with it. Mm. That's just I don't know I like that, and because then it means more. Yeah, and you have time to build. Now WWE doesn't like do that, but so we'll go through the match list. And if you actually want to like deep dive in any of them, feel free. Um, because you know you got, one. <laughs> you've got you've got the the Jericho Appreciation Society against the uh, the the punchy guys, and. Uh, yeah. You have to have Blackpool in this, right? Is that who they are? It's the it's the the, the Blackpool Combat Club, yeah. Yeah, I was say I, I don't know. Neither team has done anything yet as a team. I mean, like, yeah, fair. I mean, like well, Jericho's I mean, no, 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 no. Jericho's a wizard. That's true, but that's what I mean. Like Jericho has had groups. You know, he had the Inner Circle. Okay, I guess that's it. Um, for yeah. like the longest time. But you know now he has basically a group of NXT rejects. Like, <laughs> like I don't. And then that uh, dude. Yeah, my favorite part of this entire build up to this match was how Jericho was like about to announce it was going to be another uh, like tearing up, 
Tony Khan's dad's lawn. Yeah. And then they're like, no. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> dude, we're not yeah. doing that. I think John, is it John Box is literally going, I'm not doing that. Yeah, he's like, we're not doing that. <laughs> like, oh, John. I think you should have the Blackpool win just because you then start something with that. I don't know who that – well, who – wait, hold on. No, because it's a mixed match. It's not like a full solidified group. It's the three and then it's what? Wait, who is it? It's um, it's the Black Blackpool Combat Club minus Yuta. Okay, so Yuta's not he's, a part He's of off doing the Super Juniors, I think. Oh, okay. And uh, and then you've got um, – Kingston and uh, – Kingston the... and, and Santana and Ortiz. Cat, so my thing is okay, so it's a mixed match group versus what's supposed to be a faction, and I hate when they win, but like Santana and Ortiz have not gotten their one up on Jericho yet. Not really, no. So what the best time to do it? Blow this off now. Yeah, I'm I'm lean in black cool. Full combat me, club. Me too, but it would not shock me because it's AEW if they go, ah, nah. Like Daniel Garcia gets the pin or some shit like that on John Moxley. Because Jericho's a wizard. He's the yeah. only person that can make that sound cool. Like Gandalf isn't that cool. You're a wizard, Chris. Anyways, um, so uh, Maria can interject at any point. I got no rhyme or reason for any of my picks. It's either personal bias or going based off of their names because I don't really. Pay attention. I mean, I that's like, sli that's it's slightly like, better than the stereotype of oh, I only root for that team because I like the colors. Dude, pretty much. The quarterback's Dude, cute. I chose it's, Deeb because I like the name Deeb. It, it's exactly oh, sounds fun. It's exactly how um Deeb. Deeb. It's exactly how uh, little Doom Doom used to pick one or two. Yeah, yeah, basically. She almost fucked freaking one too. So. Hmm? Yeah, she had that one good I mean, year. what is it? I mean, you know, CJ Truth doesn't watch a single ounce of WWE and won the board, so. Yeah, 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 because, well, when when you're going with just WWE, it's, it, it's slightly more predictable. That AEW is much more unpredictable. So, so is NXT, to be fair. NXT yeah, lets yeah. just randomly do stuff where it's like. That's that's next week's episode. No spoilers. Um. Yeah, it's next week's episode is going to be the same as this one only because it's going to be like 11 matches or whatever. Well, probably. Um, it's going to be five. <laughs> so um, I'm I'm figuring that the uh, the Young Bucks are going to beat the Hardys. Oh, I, yeah. I I mean, I don't see why they wouldn't. I had the Hardys down. I know you do. <laughs> so we could just move. All right. First of all, Chris Statlander or Ruby Riot? Actually, there's probably spoilers out there. You can probably find out because I believe Rampage. Well, see, so yeah, it was wow. Rampage. You just literally go Riot. Chris Statlander and Ruby Wright. Did Chris beat Britt? No, no, no. That that's to get to the final. Yeah. I was doing oh, that step Britt before I got to the other step. I keep yeah. messing it up. I thought it was Chris Statlander versus Britt Baker, and then Ruby was the other one. Yeah, because so like I'm okay. I'm holding off because I don't think it's set in stone that Britt Baker's gonna win this thing. Um, I could because the, it seems like they're setting up Chris Statlander for some sort of push. I'll say if Chris Statlander wins this match, then yeah, but if it's Ruby Soho, Britt wins. Yeah, um, well, see, I'm not even 100% sure on that either. I don't so, know. actually, honestly, I'm I would leave Britt. I'm gonna go not Britt because I she's got to do something else. You mean like feud with Jamie Hader so Jamie Hader can go over? I was gonna say help Jamie Hader in the Tony Storm feud, <laughs> but yeah, uh, yeah. But this, this is like that you get a shot at the title, right? Like that's the whole point. It might, yeah. I think it, it might be for a future title shot. I don't even. Yeah, I think that's the whole point with uh, Samoa yeah. Joe and Adam Cole too. I think that's the whole. Yeah. Yeah. Speaking of which, uh, I think Adam Cole wins. I can't imagine he doesn't. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, so. unless you want to. So here's the other thing. Spoiler for my pick for the Hangman Punk match. Uh, you're going to have Hangman go over. 100%. Not, not according to every other set of picks I've gotten so far. Really? Punk so far is unanimous. Well, he's not when I get to pick. Anyway, no, he's not. No, I'm picking Hangman as well. But 
Because I think he beat this is another few unless if you throw Joe. Oh my god, I, I didn't just realize my laptop was a touch screen. Sorry, go ahead. Unless if you throw Joe at him as another person to beat, I don't understand why Joe would win. Like if you're just holding off with uh, like Hangman winning these feuds on you know preferable people like you know CM Punk, Adam Cole, if you throw Samoa Joe at him next, and then he loses to Omega, if Omega comes back, like if you're just if he's a spot holder for Omega, I guess I could see Joe, but I don't think they're gonna do that to Paige. I think Paige keeps it. Beats Omega when Omega gets back, and then Omega or somebody get, gets it off him from the. Well, see if if Joe wins, you could have Joe go up against Hangman Page because right. I don't think that's ever happened. Um, Probably not. Yeah, I don't think. Uh, so. If Punk wins, you've got the the potential for first of all CM Punk versus Adam Cole, but mm -hmm. I don't necessarily know if you want to because in this the scenario I'm building. Punk goes over. I don't know if you want to have Cole lose another championship feud. Oh, if Punk wins, I don't think he holds it a pay more than this pay per view. I but think the you've next got the but Punk Omega. Hmm. I mean, that's kind of like a dream match. Well, then at that point, just throw Samoa Joe at CM Punk, and then you could have classic ROH main event like next week month or whatever. Yeah. So. Um, that sucks because it does kind of depend on who wins that match. Who I would pick, then. <laughs> yeah. Um, so we'll skip it. Um, yeah, screw it. No. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Nobody cares. Uh, well, speaking of nobody cares, uh, it's the main event. We all know it. Yeah, uh, Death Triangle versus House of Black. Um, I like you have that them. is <laughs> going to be a great match, anyways. I don't care who wins, dude. And you have, and this is the thing: you throw Death Triangle at them so many times, and they keep losing. So I mean, with, with that match, you know who wins? Your eyeballs, mm. <laughs> because first of all, Hack is in it, right? Okay, I don't need. There's no more commentary on that. Pack is in. It. I would like to see a, a black mass into a black arrow. That'd be kind of cool. Yeah, uh, I do. I I think I kind of would rather see House of Black go over because maybe then the group will have some sort of direction because this feud's yeah. been going on for like three years. I was going to say, they've been feuding with the same people. <laughs> this feud was going on while Alistair Black was still around, you know? So, um, this... what about... Okay, well, you can't not have Hookhausen go over. Well, especially, especially against Tony Lee, Tony Nisa and the lawyer with a podcast. Yeah, <laughs> dude. When I read who they were facing, I was like, "Who?" <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's yeah. It's Tony Nisa and Jade Cargill's lawyer. Yeah, there's no way. We're gonna get to them in a sec, unless but, Tony Nisa pins Danhausen. I mean, that's I've it. seen that already. That's, that's it. That's the only way you get that to work. And then you break. And, and first of all, I've team. seen, I've seen Dan Housen wrestle. Can we please let him do a move? <laughs> I realized that it was all like that was all part of the plan, but oh man, like a little bit of offense. I have a weird feeling that Dan Housen is just their version of the Hurricane. <laughs> He has all the potential. Like he's yeah, good but in the Hurricane ring. got wins. Well, Dan Housen can get wins. He could beat up. Yeah. Oh, know, I'm but... fine with him being a comedy act, but 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 I, I do like. But Hookhausen has to go over. I don't. I don't you don't hand Hook his first pay per view loss. No, you don't. You don't have hand Hook his first loss in a tag team match. That's it. You don't have. I mean, yeah. that's the best way to do it, and wrestling companies love to do it that way. So, in the least important, uh, well, the second least important title picture, you got Jurassic Express versus Team Taz versus Swerve and Lee. Which version of Team Taz is it? Is this Hobbs and Starks? Yes. Okay. They don't have the other guy anymore. Never mind. Yeah, no. Um, I, by the way, I think Jurassic Express retains. Because, I hope. Because they still have to, like, legit feud with. Well, see, you can have Hobbs and Starks go over. I don't think Swerve and Keith Lee go over. I think I think that they're the only ones, at least for me, that are not 
Like there's they're not winning. Period. It, it comes down to the other two because they're gonna do they're gonna do stuff they're gonna do stuff as singles. So, but I mean, but I, I can see Team Taz going over. Yeah. So. It's okay. The the one that I really wanted to talk about the most. Not not that I wanted to do the most amount of talking about, but I kind of want to get to because it was just came out of nowhere, and I'm like, Ooh. is uh, Jade Cargill versus Anna J? I think Anna J wins. She's already Jade Cargill's already beaten Anna J, right. and I think that's that's the giveaway. That's the tell on that is that I think they're going to take the belt off of Jade Cargill. Um, even if it's briefly, but I think they're putting Anna J over. As they, they do that, Jade Cargo needs to go after the better title. And that could also be something that they do where she's like, okay, fine, I was I was 31 and 0 or whatever. And um and so I got my loss, you know, and then if if Anna J manages to 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 hold on to it for the rematch, then maybe she goes after Thunder Rosa. Mm. Because I think one of the reasons they put the, the – the, they, they really wanted to push Jade Cargill, but Jade Cargill was still I, – I know there was a lot being made of how green she was, mm. but, you know, she's really grown, and I think she's ready to go after Thunder Rosa, I think, you know, because I think Thunder Rosa goes over as well. Might as well just hop on that one. I don't think Serena Deeb's going to win. It'll be a good match. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Oh, it should be, it should be a good match. But, um, but I think you're, I think they're gonna keep the belt on Thunder Rosa for a little while, maybe because I don't think they're gonna send Jade Cargo immediately after her either. So, but I don't no, think they're. Gonna, yeah, I don't think they're gonna put the belt back on right back on Britt. I don't think they're gonna put the belt back on like Nyla Rose, um, and ever and you know who else is there? I mean, they're borrowing you know, wrestlers from other promotions, you know, they're bringing in Marina Shafir and stuff. So I don't, I, I don't see who else is there other than like, you know, you, you throw Jamie Hayter on her, you know, she's not going to win. So. Yeah. The problem with that, with AEW is they don't have enough. Like they do like, it. They're not. Their, their women's division is deep, mm. but it's, but it's, a lot of inexperience, you know, like 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 Julia Hart and the Bunny. Yeah, even though Layla I wouldn't Hirsch. say Bunny's not, huh? Layla Hirsch, she's yeah, really Layla Hirsch. Her. I mean, you've got you've got Penelope before, but I think it's she, uh, she's injured. I believe I don't care. she has been on TV in a while. Like so, they they have, you know, like a very deep women's roster. They're just they don't have a lot of faith. In they don't have enough faith in them to push everybody to push really, other than the handful that we see get pushed, right. you know. And plus, we still haven't figured out what Julia Hart's problem is. So until we sort that out, <laughs> okay. So that just brings us to Hangman Page and CM Punk, and we kind of already spoiled that one. No. Uh, where I think I think Hangman retains. But I am vastly in the minority on that. As as of the time of recording, <laughs> sorry, I just got your text. Um, let me see. Uh, let's see. Sean picked Punk. Wow. Tiger picked Punk. Of course, he did. Oh, actually, the oh, and uh, uh, Christian picked Punk. So, Jesse probably won't. Yeah, so there's that. I'm I'm gonna wait. You know, I'm just gonna wait and see what John picks. <laughs> so, um, but yeah, so, but yeah, I think uh, I think Hangman. You know, they're they're building up the whole confidence thing with. Hangman and 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 trying to build his character that way, I could see him losing it and then getting it back maybe. But see, if you take the belt off of Hangman, what do you do with him now? 
you know. Well, it's nothing. Retire. Join yeah. the British Combat Club. Yeah. Oh, yeah, maybe. We'll see. But yeah, so. Then you can have a British Combat Club versus Dark Order feud. It would probably be the most hilarious feud you could do. Also, why does everybody that goes after Hang Hangman have to fight all ten members of the Dark Order first? <laughs> well, Daniel Bryan did it to be a dick. CM Punk, I think, just did it because why not? And I it's, did it too. <laughs> yeah, it's an excuse to get John Silver on TV. I guess. And I'll take that. I mean, even because, uh, Angel Allen's or whatever is cool. He's actually good too. I, it, it's to the point now where whenever I watch Being the Elite, I just fast forward to anything that has uh, John Silver in it. It's like I don't even watch the Young Bucks. I just skip ahead. When I see Adam Cole, I'll start watching because I know John Silver somewhere. Yeah, those two are always pulling the arrow. So, uh, but yeah. I keep seeing him... Uh, Cole, I keep seeing him playing Halo Infinite, and I'm like, could you get the two, the co-op multiplayer out, please? Nope. I don't know. Who knows? It might be out now, and I just didn't notice. I don't think so. So, yeah. But, yeah, that's that's double or nothing. Like, it's going to be a long show. That's like 11 matches. So, and even if you do three matches an hour, you know, on average, you know, that's that's a four-hour show. And some of those matches may go kind of long. So, and of course, when they're running out of time, I'm sure they'll just, you know, take it from Thunder Rosa and Serena Deep. August 2022. That is Screw you, 343. That's sad. Right. <laughs> like, the, like, I still, it's still, in, so I haven't played, I haven't even loaded it. Yeah. But it's just installed. I know it's still installed because it updates every three days or whatever. Yeah. <sighs> but anyways, so uh, I guess the other, there's a couple other, like, interesting news stories that I kind of wanted to touch on going around. Like, did you see the stuff with Alexa Bliss and her stalker? Mm -mm. Oh, my. So... It's it's not recent. The guy's Twitter account, and I'm not gonna I'm not gonna you know you, you can find it if you want to find it. But he apparently because I've noticed two things that that keep circulating on Twitter. Uh, the one I saw like a week or two ago, where it's this this guy that every time just about every time WWE puts out a tweet, he responds with the or this account responds with the same tweet about how like. Uh, they're holding Alexa Bliss hostage and, for, you know, all sorts of weird stuff, but it's the same one every single time. And it's like, okay, but uh, but that's, okay, that's legit crazy. It's like, okay, that's, that's bot crazy. Like, that's Tony Khan's right behind. Me. But the, uh, the other one is there's this guy that keeps tweeting Alexa Bliss or, like, I, I think he, he answered – he was sending her tweets and then it was i think on her instagram channel where it was just comments about like how uh she won't leave buddy murphy alone and and uh and then he was like physically threatening to shoot her and um what's what what's her husband's name Tabera. yeah uh you know all sort of just craziness and she finally answered him uh like like yes and the screenshots have been submitted to the authorities or something to that effect because, like, you know, you did threaten to kill me and my fiancé at the time, I assume. But, um, but yeah, like, it's just nuts. Like, like, dude, and if you look at the guy's history, all of his replies are just, just slamming. Like, it's if you go back far enough, it's him asking, like, you know, just supportive tweets. But kind of like, okay, you're, you're kind of, like, simping here. And then, and then he... Asked her if she was going to invite Buddy Murphy to her wedding, and she didn't answer him. So then he got mad, and then for the next X of like thread, he's just threatening her and Ryan and all sorts of fun stuff. So yeah, it was craziness. But uh, that's that's the uh, 
I guess that's the price you pay for being famous. And having social media. Yeah. So. Female on social media, I guess. Yeah. It, yeah. Um, but, but yeah, it's, today this week was just kind of weird because there wasn't a whole lot of actual wrestling stories going around. It was just all this extracurricular stuff. You know, like Nia Jax mentioning that nobody likes Becky Lynch. You know, it's like, okay, so. <laughs> but, um. Is that the dude? Yeah. Jesus Christ. She found this thing. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was, oh, yeah, yeah. Have, have a read. Yeah, That's, man. yeah, this, that guy's out there. So, um. But I couldn't. He did. I I couldn't find his Instagram account because I was trying to to find that. But I think he, he might have deleted his Instagram. I don't know or changed his profile, whatever. But um, but yeah, the name that was screenshotted, I couldn't get to come up in Instagram. So, but yeah, found his Twitter, and he's 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 just all sorts of sorts of out there. But yeah, so that was that was the, the like the week in wrestling was all just gossip, like not even the normal gossip with like you know this person may be leaving or this person may be showing up in AEW, but then he's not going to because we didn't have sources, you know that it wasn't even that kind of stuff. It was just uh, oh, and by the way, fans are nuts, <laughs> and and sometimes so are you know journalists. I mean, there was a. I mean, there was a like, oh, like why Sonya Deville was gone for so long? Somebody broke into their house, like. Yeah, yeah, and actually, I think the uh, the, the the crazy Alexa fan, comment like, has a comment about that in there somewhere too, so, like right around when it happened, but uh, but yeah, it was it was just, just a weird, weird, stupid week. Yeah. So. I mean, and and you're heading into like you know essentially, I I guess is is it fair to say the double or nothing is their WrestleMania, like as far as size of the show? Probably. I mean, yeah, I would think all in or all out would be, but yeah. So this is because the, I mean it's hard to tell just because of how everything's laid out because they have the one in like January February. Then they have the one like May June. Then they have the one that's like September, August, September, yeah, September, October. Then they have the yeah, yeah, the, all outs usually beginning of September, I think. Why well, it's kind of hard to say usually because you know it's it, it's not like it's been that many of them. Well, yeah, all out was September. Then you go into full gear. Then you hit Revolution. Revolution. Then double nothing. Which I don't really understand. Why it doesn't go all out, then double or nothing, just because of the names, but whatever. Oh, if no, you go all out, then all right, double or nothing. But I guess but, that's kind of that's too close but, to the whole backlash. Yeah, it, but my, my my point being that the that we're going into a major AEW event and all of the news is Becky Lynch, Alexa Bliss, uh, you know, and ringside ringside news. So just, I miss the days when it was just Meltzer saying dumb stuff and then Cornette yelling at him. God, those were the days. Life was simpler back then. There was only one company to complain about. Right. right I mean, I, about the other ones, but nobody cared about them. Yeah. And I, I still don't acknowledge Impact anyways. So, although there was the story that, um, we almost got the Killer Cross AEW appearance. Yeah, and then they almost WWE rawed him, so. Yeah, yeah. Because, yeah, I mean, I don't really think he minded going, like, you know, uh, putting Wardlow over. But uh, if I remember correctly, the problem was that Scarlet. It's Scarlet. No, Scarlet. Yeah, Scarlet. He, that was literally the only problem. Yeah. From what I heard. So. And they left the door open, so. I would love to see Cross in AEW, except the problem that we're running into and this this is a topic for uh, the, like this is an entire episode topic is that AEW starting to get 
WWE size roster problems, you know, and they only have the one show because I, I realize Rampage exists. Right. I mean, but, are... but yeah, and the problem with Dark is, is that it's on, it's on YouTube. It's you too know? many matches, and I swear to God, the commentators don't care. Oh, so it's, wait a minute. Who's the commentators? It's not Excalibur then. Oh no, it, it's it's the group, I think. Oh. All I right, think. never mind. I was gonna I, I mean, was gonna start as gonna start watching then. I but mean, uh so my dislike for Excalibur, by the way, doesn't really run that deep. But uh like he's not like I don't dislike Excalibur the way I dislike Michael Cole. Oh no, I hate him more. Uh I don't. I mean he's stupider. He gets he gets the name he gets the names of the moves right, you know. Yeah, he just and if not, he just makes one up and he's like it basically like, you know, what you gonna research it? No, you're not. You just know it's not a blue thunderball. Oh my gosh, my favorites are Pat McAfee corrects Michael Cole. <laughs> uh I mean, you know, that could be an, that could be the entire episode of SmackDown. Although, did you see the video of um, of uh, Pat McAfee actually reacting to the Sasha Banks stuff because he didn't know? No, really, no. There's there's a video where where like Michael Cole starts reading off about the Sasha Banks thing, and and you're showing Pat McAfee and you watch his face, and then he revealed later that he had no idea about any of, or I don't know if it was that he didn't know about any of it, but he didn't know that they had been like suspended or to the extent yeah. of it or something. It looked like he didn't care. Well, he was trying to to not give anything away. So he was trying to 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 keep the professional Pat McAfee face and failing to an extent. And he was just like Well if if you watch he occasionally kind of yeah kind of looks like well, wait they did what? Like you could see the wheels spinning. Like you know, there was there was a little bit of smoke coming out of the ears as he was trying to compute it. But uh, but yeah. First of all, the I okay, we'll go down this road. Um, I don't like the way, uh, according to the way that the story has been reported, and most places are trying to report it from both sides. I don't like the way they walked out the day of the show even right. if it was there's some reports saying it was earlier in the day some reports saying it was right as raw went on the air whatever i don't like that i do support the reason that they left i'm behind them on that right like their their reasoning is legit however wwe publicly burying them not uh, i don't think that's a good look either you know, they, they should have – their social media tweet, I think, was enough. But – and then and then Vince kind of punishing them on air, I get it, you know, because it had just happened earlier that day or moments before or whatever it actually was. But, uh, but I get why people are starting to think it's a work because it's not yeah. the way WWE usually yeah, operates. Yeah, it's weird. No yeah, now, I don't think it's a work, but I get yeah. why people are going down that. The other side was handling it professionally, but yeah. it's still, you know, it's still your job. It's still a business. You know, it's weird. Yeah, and and like the Naomi walkout surprised me. Sasha does not. I mean, she's done no, it before. No, yeah, you know, she's she's very much like. And here's the thing, it's not even that, like, with Sasha, from, from what I've heard, it's not that she doesn't want to put someone over. It's not that she doesn't want to work with someone. It's when she feels like she's not getting the respect she deserves for all the effort she puts in. That's when she gets real salty. And so it's kind of hard to kind of, like, be like, well, Sasha's just being blah, blah, when it's like, no, you know, I can kind of see it. You know, the first time they were, she, this is the second time that she's tried to legitimize those belts. 
yeah. and hasn't been able to. And I can see why she's frustrated. So, you know, like like I said, it's not like one of those things where she walks out because, like, oh, I'm not losing to Ronda. No. she. It, it, I've never heard any problem with her putting someone over or working with someone. You know what I mean? How many times is she losing a row to Charlotte? <laughs> I know, right? So, yeah. Good. And, I, hate her, I, mean, I hope she gets fired. <laughs> Ah, there it is. See that that, that 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 that's what I was aiming for last week. <laughs> I was giving you last week to to do all your Naomi bashing. This oh week no, I need them. to make it where it's relevant. Yeah, fair. But the uh, oh yeah, yeah. CM Punk just won the AEW title. Yeah, fuck Naomi. <laughs> uh, see, I don't see again. My and to be clear, your problem isn't really with Naomi. Your problems with her gimmick, yeah. correct? It's with her, yeah, yeah. I was gonna say it's all of her gimmicks, but yes. Well, I mean, it's kind of just been a variation of the same gimmick. Yeah, I was gonna say I've hated yeah. her since fucking Punkadactyls. Well, I was gonna say this is around. really, this is really kind of just like the natural progression from the Funkadactyl because she's yeah, still doing a lot of Dactyls, Funkadactyls yeah. EDM. Like I, I'm not. I see my issue with Naomi. Is one I hate her finisher, and two, but again, whatever. And two, I'm not big on neon colors. I don't like the big flashy colors and the neon stuff like that. So the presentation irritates me. But um, okay. she did pick the correct Uso, so that's fine. Okay. Jay, I think so, that's the one that. No, she... I thought she was with Jimmy. Oh fuck! Hold on. <laughs> well, this might prove everything. Hold on. Yeah. But but yeah. So so like my issue isn't really with Naomi herself. Like her her promos are fine, whatever. You know. But yeah, I, I the the gimmick does bug me a little bit just because it's too bright. Oh, no. it hurts my eyes. She did pick the wrong Uso. That's why she sucks. What an idiot. So there you go. But um yeah. So I guess that's about it. I mean, you know, we're we're we kind of rambled a little bit there at the end because, you know, we haven't actually made our picks yet. So although by the time this is on YouTube, the picks will be made and of course there will be text at the end and everything else. So so picks will be presented. Um Nobody's complained about the color choices, so that means oh, no. What one. did everybody get? I didn't look. Yeah, of course you didn't. You don't watch our videos. Um, I watched the cold opens and fast forward to the end to not fuck up the algorithm. Well, see, fast forwarding through it actually uh, it does not help with the retention. Dang, that's fine. I usually just watch the cold open and give it a like anyway. So, um, yeah, I don't even do that. But uh, the let's see, I gave I gave uh, Taryn, I gave a darker shade of red. Um, uh, Christian, I gave white because of the whole white shoe thing. Right, right. Anyway, so I was like, all right, this is appropriate. And I, I'm trying to remember what I gave Scoob. Um, hold on. Let's find out. 